We were talking before about my favorite Canadian MP, I, I, because you're not in, in the Parliament right now, so I can say that, right? And, and so Cheryl Gallant, I think her claim to fame was she was the only conservative to vote, I think, against the Paris Accords and supporting Donald Trump. So what do you think? Cheryl Gallant is a true gem, and she's a, uh, she's a grassroots politician all the, all the way. I remember when I sat behind her in the House of Commons. Uh, I was a rookie. She had been there for many years, and I would watch her writing cards to her constituents if somebody had an anniversary or sadly if somebody passed away to write cards to constituents. She was a true grassroots roots politician and a true conservative and I really look up to her and learned a lot from her. Yeah, we were up, uh, we were up there in the Laurentian Valley. There was a problem where they were opening the dams too much or something and caused all these floodings and they were coming, I, I don't quite remember, but they were like locking down uh, permits for people to repair their homes. I don't know if you were familiar with that, but but Cheryl was a, like she was fighting for the people. It was really really engaging as an American to have seen that. Cause and she she was always one. She was always one of the best people standing up for constituents because all politics is local, right? And it comes down to whether you're willing to go to bat for the people who who put you in that office. And Cheryl always was. She's. She's amazing. She was an inspiration to me. She's uh, a true conservative, and uh, I hope that one day she'll get down here and uh, and soak up some of CPAC. I'm sure she'd. Yeah, I would love to, I would love to bring her down. That would be great.